Hey guys, in this video I will explain you how to use flags inside of DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. In yesterday's video I explained everything about markers and you can use markers in the cut page. There's this icon here and there's also another icon here. I will not go over that one, but there's basically three different ways how you can use markers. For example, I can click here and now I have a marker here on my timeline. The cool part is I can double click this and give notes and make different colors and all those kind of things. It's good to organize your footage and your material or if you work with other people. So for example, I can tell someone exactly on that time point that something should happen, right? But another way how you can organize your stuff, you see now here this clip has three flags on it. I will now delete them and I show you how you can use them. The difference between markers and flags is with a flag, I can flag a clip. So for example, if I click this clip here and I go here to this one next to the markers, that is a flag. Now I click the flag icon and you see now this is blue and this is blue. Why? Because this one is the same source material. If I open the media pool here and I look through my media files here, you see this is the same clip. So now if I go in here and I cut my stuff and I move this around, for example, it will always, whoops, not that far around. Doesn't matter where in my timeline my clips are, it will always recognize that this is a blue flag and now I can decide what I want. Let's say for example here in this clip, let's say the colorist should replace the sky, sky replacement. So I can click now this one, double click this blue flag and write down sky replacement. And the cool thing now is everywhere in DaVinci Resolve, so let's say someone else is opening this project and goes to the color page, he will see now, oh yeah, I have here this blue mark, so what does it say? Oh, sky replacement. Then he knows, oh yeah, on this clip I have to do a sky replacement. And the reason why it's flagging the whole source clip is now I can even divide my clips, like I showed you here, here's a part of the clip, here's a part of the clip, maybe somewhere else is a part of the clip. And now he always knows, oh yeah, all of them, we have to do the sky replacements. It's all part of the same clip that we want to change the sky. This is basically how you use them. It will always stick to the clip and you also have it here in the media bin. And the funny thing is, yo, you can add multiple flags to one clip. So if I longer press here, right click, or with my pencil, just longer press, then I can choose also different color. So I can hit pink and can also say something else. Like for example, make grass green. And it's up to you how you want to use this now, if you even need it or not, but it definitely helps you to organize your footage, your material when you work with a couple of different people and those are called flags. You can also use shortcuts for that one, but here on the DaVinci Resolve iPad version, you first have to come into the shortcuts menu by Option, Command and K. And when you then search for flag, you will see here, marker, add flag. Those ones, they don't have a shortcut. I gave now blue the shortcut nine, just for this purpose here. So if I click a clip, I can hit now nine on my keyboard and boom, the flag is here. Like I mentioned before, it's not considering the timestamp. If I wanna show someone or myself I, there is something happening on a specific time on my clip, I can use markers and also markers, you have different colors. I explained that yesterday. That's it for this video today. I hope you learned something. If yes, hit like, subscribe, dingle dingle the bam bang gong and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye.